Welcome back guys, this is Aprilia and today we're going to be looking into another new text-to-image AI model. This one is called Hydream i1 and it's actually also open source. Based on the sample images here, it does look quite impressive. It's able to do multitude of different styles, including text and also images that are realistic and also more of the illustrative side. It is currently ranked number four in terms of ELO ranking. And basically, I think it is the highest one that is open source on the list. So that is pretty impressive. And there are a couple of ways to obviously run this for free. So you can install it and they have an installation guide here to basically how to run it. There's obviously some people who have already done videos on how to basically set it up. If you have done, you know, SDXL or something similar to that, the process is going to be pretty much the same, but there is also web versions, which we are going to be looking in this video and comparing the actual results. So here is the high dream online and all the links can be found in the description down below as always guys. And here you can actually do some prompts. So I just took like a random Civit AI image prompt and I basically put it in and this turned out to be a pretty decent illustration there's a bit of a pixelization on the eyes area this is something that i have kind of witnessed with a lot of these images that have been prompted out but this seems to be not the best version this is the dev one so i think there might be like other models and this may not be using as many steps so it kind of like it's a bit more faster way so let me see like gymnastics teacher let's do something very simple so it takes a bit of a time there's actual queue on this website but also here's another image that i was able to prompt out which turned out to be a lot better this was also a random prompt i do like the quality over here we do not have pixelization on the eyes the eyes are pretty accurate this golden thing over here which is is kind of weird but whatever but in terms of like the base quality over here and the accuracy and the symmetries, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, in case you don't want to wait out a million hours with this website, they do also have their normal website, which is known as Vivago. And by signing in, you are going to be getting 100 credits. You can use my link down below and I will get some type of bonus on this website. And I believe you're going to be getting 100 free credits and I think it's going to be resetting also. So you have because I did generations on earlier days and it went back to 100. So that's pretty good. So there's free credits and that are, these are daily logins. So basically you get to prompt out quite a lot with this thing for free. There are some caveats, there are some caveats and I do wanna talk about the plans. It's, it's worth mentioning and talking about the, the pricing models over here because it's actually quite affordable. This is the monthly plan is $6. On yearly, it's only $5. And when we look at like Mid Journey and a couple of the other image subscri subscriptions, they tend to be $8 and above. And I think this is a lot more competitive price. You get 1,000 monthly credits for fast generations, unlimited relaxed generations. That is a very big selling point. So at a slower speed, you can prompt out many things as possible. So if you don't wanna pay 20 bucks for Sora, I mean, this tends to be a pretty good deal in my opinion. Now let's look into some of the things that I was able to basically prompt out. By the way, you can do video generation, 3D generation, character creation on this platform as well. I haven't been playing around that. We are really like focusing right now on the model that they have. And here are a couple of images that I was able to prompt out. This is very pixelated actually, very low quality. I use kind of like a random prompts here. And this is, by the way, like these are non-censored. I probably should have probably mentioned this earlier. These are not very good images, actually. And there are two different models that you can do here. There's an anime model and then there are, is the poly art model. Uh, you can also add image references. So this was on my thumbnail on some of my recent videos. I think two videos ago, I think we reviewed Reeve and I used that. And I tried to do it like, hey, use this as a source image. And the results ended up being worse uh, than on the original image. And the faces kind of didn't really match the armor. There was like different art style or something. So it's definitely not perfect. But I do want to say all these generations that I'm showing you right now, 
are actually done on on lower quality because there is on the polyard model or was it on the actual yeah so here there is a premium and then there's an express so all of these have been done on express and expresses are faster speed prompts and they are lower quality than the premium prompts. So all of the things you're seeing here are actually of lower quality. This one actually don't look too bad. I basically took out an image on, on the gallery. Let's look at the gallery images in a second. But I just want to show you the free model results. Now these anime arts were actually turning out to be good. There's some text generated over here which were definitely not welcome. That's something you tend to see with some of these stable diffusion for example. There's in painting also like repainting model that can be also used and there's erase but some of these features are behind the paywall and here we got two other images and these are just taken from Civitai. I really just like took out random and one of the cool things is like it can help you to create a prompt so let's say I want sex okay that was I want cool Goth chick photo in a realistic way, realistic manner, let's just say that. And it will basically start thinking and create a prompt for you. And there's also a lot of different aspect ratios which are supported, all the essential ones, which is very important. Like, we still don't have 16 to 9 at Sora, which is crazy to me. But yeah, so in case you're really bad at creating prompts, you have this opportunity to basically use it this way, we can like, we can try to do actually two different. And you can do two images at once with the free model. And there are also tags that you can use. This is kind of helpful because it kind of gives you a bit of an idea like what you could be using. So it might be actually taking effect from these tags and try to do something on that style. So when I'm like designing these thumbnails, for example, I try to do something of the logo, match, the art matching the logo that I'm using for what I'm reviewing today, for example. So that's kind of important to me. So these are really good if you're not very familiar with colors and themes and all types of different aesthetics. So this, this tags can be actually helpful. On the home page, you can actually see, let's do AI image. There are some really impressive images. The ones that I was showing you guys were not very good. And I think th this really comes down to my prompts being kind of bad. And also the fact that some of these really, really good images that you're going to be seeing here on this platform are actually done with the premium version. So I was prompting the lower quality stuff. There's definitely things that it can do that are impressive and look great. And it can do text. So here we have Know Yourself. It's saying that. And the ones that I had actually text, they were, they were decent too. So here we have Jade and D, just like it's written on the prompt. So it definitely can follow text prompts, which is good. And there are definitely some higher quality images over here. I think it's in certain niches probably more competitive than the other. It seems to be better at realism. The anime art stuff is also decent. I mean, it seems to be like pretty well-rounded AI model. Some are like, in my, for example, I think stable diffusion is not as good at real, real, realism as it is much more better for like illustrations and anime art and cartoon art and things like that. That's my personal take. But I mean, there are some decent images here and prompts that it can basically do. Let me see if I actually got that one image that we were prompting just a minute ago. Is that done? So here we have the got chick. Okay, this is pretty, pretty censored stuff. So a lot of pixelization on the face. It's just not very good. The fingers are all over the place over here. Very, very, very disfigured. Not good. Not good at all. But at times it can do really good stuff. So here, for example, just much more better in results. So I think this is a lot more better if you're going to be running it on your own PC. So if you have been running Flux or something else akin to that, you're probably going to be having a lot better time of doing the prompts that way because you can actually add more steps and it will not do like these very fast prompts which are going to be cutting on quality and things like that. But there's not really... Okay, here again, like, I don't know if this is a premium image or not, but here, yeah, there's some finger problems here, definitely. So I think that's something that we definitely see here that is a bit of a problem, is the hands here. Okay, here, once again an extra finger over there or a bit of a disfigurement. So not very good at hands. So if you're trying to do very realism, may not be the best for that purpose, but maybe there are gonna be some 
hoops and loops that you can do to get better results on that. But definitely, it is worth. It's a free website, guys, so it's a free trial. So I would definitely give it a shot. You know, play around with it and see if you can actually prompt something very better. But in terms of its pricing, I don't think it's too bad, given the fact that you're going to be getting unlimited amounts of relaxed prompts with the platform. So if you like a cheap, affordable AI, this is definitely the one to go with. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more reviews on the channel, as always, by subscribing and hit that like button. That will help the algorithms to pick up these videos and rank them higher. Really good, appreciate that. But I will bid you farewell, and I will see you next time.